I can explain my feeling right now with all my feelings. Um. Rose Vega was one of 90 Fiancé's biggest stars ever, thanks to her relationship with Big Ed, but that all came crashing down when she disappeared from the show, but now she's back and in a new relationship and you'll never believe the truth about it. Rose's relationship with Big Ed is honestly one that I don't think any 90 Day Fiancé fan is ever going to forget. I mean, if I wanted to talk about their relationship, which I don't, I don't even think I'd know where to start from, but either way, because we can't seem to forget about her relationship with Big Ed, Ed, that doesn't mean that Rose hasn't forgotten about relationships entirely, and she just recently revealed that she's found love again, and I have to say, I'm really happy for her after everything she went through with Ed, and you know, well, according to her, she wasn't really looking for love, it just kind of happened, but anyway, what Rose revealed is it turns out that her new boyfriend is actually Australian, and he goes by the name Greg, and he's also a real estate agent, but that's not all. Just like she had a major age gap between her and Big Ed, there's also this huge age gap between Rose and her current boyfriend Greg and well to try and be more specific there's a 28 year age gap between the both of them so if you do the math Greg is actually 54 years old and this is honestly just so insane but Rose doesn't seem to mind the age gap between her and Greg at all and she has actually never once spoken about it so Greg isn't just any real estate agent he's also the director and founder of his own real estate company called Ray White more Dalek. And, you know, from his company's website, Greg isn't just good at his job. He seems pretty great at it. And I guess that's the least you can expect from him considering how he's been in real estate, you know, an agent for over 25 years. And from his company's website, Greg seems to be a really successful guy. I mean, it even says that he's actually one of the top real estate agents in Melbourne. And because he's so great at his job, Greg has actually won so many, you know, elite performer awards. So I don't know about you guys, but honestly, this had me wondering how exactly exactly did Rose end up meeting Greg? I mean, they both work in two totally different industries, and with Rose being a model of sorts, and then there's Greg, who is a real estate agent, and then they also live in two totally different continents. Well, apparently, it turns out that Rose and Greg actually met through social media, but they didn't exactly reveal the social media platform where they met, and there's no current proof about this, but it seems like Rose and Greg have been, you know, together for a while, and I mean, they've obviously been together long enough for him to meet Rose's son, Prince and apparently he also taught Prince how to skateboard and I guess you could say that they have a pretty close relationship and honestly if you've been paying really close attention to Rose she might have dropped a couple of hints concerning her relationship with Greg the first hint of her relationship with Greg actually came way back in December of 2021 and this was when she first posted a video of herself and her then mystery man and back then she captioned the video of them saying that she's finally found the one and this happened right around the time that she went on vacation to Thailand with her son Prince. But the thing is, back then, no one really knew who her mystery man actually was. And this was probably because in the video that she posted on her Instagram page, and well, you know, Greg's face wasn't even in the video at all. I mean, all we saw were his hands. And from there, she didn't really say anything about her new relationship until May of this year. And that was when she dropped another major update about her relationship with Greg. And so Greg visited Rose in her town, and she also introduced him to the world in a video that she posted on her YouTube channel. And this is actually the part of the story that's being shown on 90 Day Diaries. And I have to say, Rose's appearance on 90 Day Diaries came as a huge shock to a lot of people, including myself. And I mean, if I'm being honest here, I'm pretty sure a lot of us didn't think that she'd ever want to appear on any 90 Day Fiance show ever again because of everything that happened between her and Big Ed. But she seems to be completely over everything, and her new boyfriend isn't the only new thing in her life. She also got what some people might call a makeover. And from one of her latest modeling assignments, she shared pictures of herself sporting a new haircut and hair color on her Instagram page and apparently she had some experts there change her hair color with a nano steam treatment whatever that is and now for those of you that might be wondering what that is it's actually just the process of using nano steam to open up the hair follicle and Rose's new hair debut came right on the verge of a really big announcement that she also made on her Instagram page and it turns out that Rose has been planning something pretty huge for a while now so according to her she plans on setting the record straight about her past and in a recent 
recent Instagram post that she made, Rose can clearly be seen wearing this purple outfit, but her outfit wasn't the only thing that caught the eyes of everybody. It was actually her caption. And according to her, so many wrong and racist things have been said about her and things that she claims are all lies. And because of this, it actually seems like a lot of people have been judging her without actually getting to know the real her. And right now, it seems like she's had enough of everything that's going on. And in her words, she's going to set the record straight soon. And now I have to say, everyone has been pretty much wondering what Rose was actually talking about when she said she wants to set the record straight. Because let's be honest here, her Instagram post was really cryptic and it's really hard to actually guess what she's actually talking about. And now, even though her post was actually hard to kind of break down, Rose did leave us with a hint. So in this particular Instagram post that she made, Rose only used two hashtags. The first one was her name, Rose Vega. And now the second hashtag she used was 90 Day Fiance. So honestly, I know what you guys might be thinking and I guess I'm also thinking the exact same thing. Does this mean that Rose is going to return to 90 Day Fiance? And I mean, if you think about it, it kind of actually makes sense. Rose and Greg have already made their TLC debut as a couple on 90 Day Diaries. So what if they're actually thinking about appearing in 90 Day Fiance? And besides, what's the best way for Rose to actually clear the bad name she got on 90 Day Fiance than actually appearing on the show again? And this is just my opinion, by the way, but I'd love to know what you guys actually think. Do you think that Rose and Greg might actually book themselves a spot on 90 Day Fiance. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And like always, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like, follow, share, subscribe button. And y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.